I analyze seven years of data across 20 large cap funds versus the Nifty 50 equal weighted index fund. Before we jump in, remember that it's only seven years of data and we have not actually seen a real bear market during this time. Just like in part one of this video, we will compare the point-to-point -point returns, the CAGR, the SIP returns and the rolling returns of Nifty 50 equal weighted index fund versus the 20 large cap funds. We will benchmark these 20 large cap funds against the DSP Nifty 50 equal weighted index fund. This is one of the oldest index fund uh, in this category. And the period of study is 1st November 2017 till 1st of October 2025. So look at the CAGR or point-to-point -point returns of one year, three year, five year and seven years between large cap funds and the equal weighted index. The green cells show where the large cap funds outperform the equal weighted index and the white cells show where they underperformed it. Friends, look at this. In the one year period, nearly 60% of the funds outperformed the equal weighted index fund. Remember, when we did that against Nifty 50 in the part one video, only about 20% of the funds uh, had managed to outperform. So what does this tell us? It tells us that equal weighted index funds are slightly more volatile than even the active large cap funds. But here is the astonishing aspect, right? Post one year, there are only three funds which have ever outperformed the equal weighted index. And as expected, Nippon India Large Cap and ICCA Large Cap funds show right up there. Friends, also please note that equal weighted Nifty 50 index fund actually has beaten the market weighted Nifty 50 index fund by a considerable margin if the time period is more than three years. If we look at the returns through a SIP lens, is it going to change? Let's find out. So the setup is the same, 1000 rupees per month from 1st of November 2017 till 1st of September 2025 and we look at the portfolio value as on 1st of October 2025. What you see on screen now is the value as of 1st of October 2025. And here is the shocker. Only two funds, it's only two funds have managed to beat the SIP returns of the index, of the equal weighted index. Friends, uh, remember the point where we talked about more volatile an asset, more the chances that a SIP will outperform and that is exactly what is happening in case of an equal weighted index fund where it is more volatile than the Nifty 50 market weighted index fund and because of which the SIP tends to outperform. Friends, it is very clear. Most of the large cap active funds have not been able to beat the Nifty 50 equal weighted index fund through the SIP route. Only two of them manage that. But ask yourself this question again. What is the likelihood that you would have been able to select these two funds seven years ago and continue investing over a long period of time to earn this alpha? Now we are going to compare the rolling returns between large cap funds and the equal weighted index fund. If you don't know what is a rolling return, I request you to please watch part one of this video where I've explained in detail uh, what is a rolling return? In short, rolling returns is about consistency of performance of a fund. Astonishing results once again, friends. Uh, most funds don't even manage to beat the rolling returns of the equal weighted index funds. Even 50% of the time, right? Uh, in fact, only 5 out of 20 funds actually manage to do that. That is just 25% of the funds. And once again, ICICI and Nippon large cap funds have shown remarkable consistency across all parameters. Amazing. Friends, be it lump sum returns, SIP returns, or rolling returns consistency, it is very clear that over a period of seven years, equal weighted index funds were able to beat most of the active large cap funds. So what does this mean? It means that as markets mature, active large cap managers are actually finding it tough to beat the equal weighted index. But please remember, we are only talking about seven years of data. There have not been a full-blown bear market yet. And 
equal weighted index fund has lagged the Nifty 50 market weighted index fund in the last one year, which clearly tells us that equal weighted index funds are more volatile. Again, another aspect to remember and take action on. So if you like this video, please subscribe. And remember, the part three of this video is we are going to compare Nifty 150 mid-cap index versus active mid-cap funds. This has been requested by many users and that is what the next video would be. Thank you for watching.